Welcome to Eat Treat Love. Come on in. Man, the past two years, huh? Well, these are my favorite crystals for protection. I love our protection crystal diffuser with moonstone in it. Just perfect. I put this right in front of my door, and this is the chevron amethyst point. And if everything fails, you can always count on an obsidian sphere. You can never go wrong with a black tourmaline. And those are my top favorite crystals for protection. Visit us online or come down to Eat Read Love down by Studio City. Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. I'm just getting settled over here. I was I was just in a private jet. I'm getting a private jet. <laughs> no. How I wish. But I claim. Okay, I claim. Welcome to Shangri-La, the, the store where I read. Um, you know, this is our store in Studio City which is our first flagship location. Oh, I need to go to the second location. I'm kidding. I'm claiming next is Melrose, and then Santa Monica, Long Beach, San Francisco, San Diego, California first. Uh -huh. but so do watch out if you're from um, LA. Okay, so that's that one. Let's begin with the Oracle. Okay. I'm gonna teach you how to manifest and bring okay, everything into abundance into your life. Not because I can do it, because everybody is entitled for it. The universe is so abundant, we just need to tap into it. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's going on. Which means, don't ask what you cannot get. Try to reach to something that is already available to you. Not your ex. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Sal, the shade is so early. I don't know. It's bright over here, so I don't know what shade you're talking about. <laughs> here we go. Have faith, the oracle is saying here. Have faith and cause and effect. You are your own enemy. You do know that, Scorpio, right? In your chart, Aries is your sixth house. And who destroys you? Your own self, because you're Mars ruled. Mm -hmm. Cause and effect. Tell me if a relationship didn't fall down not because of you. Be honest. Takes two to tango, they have their faults. But ask yourself. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself. I'm pretty sure you can be honest, right? So cause and effect. Once you realize that that is true, it was my temper, Sal. That is true, it was me not trusting them. That is true also that they were a cheater. Yeah, so I'm just gonna give you that. <laughs> Um, but you will find yourself as the, as the, as more success you, you go into, as more, um, cause it's not just success relationship, all these things that you're working on, you'll find that you are the worst enemy. You, mm -hmm. not the person, not anyone else. You, your chart alone. <laughs> so where's the good in this read is to realize that if you can change that dynamic within yourself, do not destroy your own relationship, your connection, your, you know, what you're manifesting. Okay. Then you can change your life for the better. Have faith. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. I love this. Um, the have faith over here is just saying that don't give up. You know how Scorpios, when they give up, um, good luck with that. Especially if you're a moon in Scorpio. Don't cross me once. Don't cross me once because you only get half a chance, not even one. Okay. That's a moon Scorpio right there. A Scorpio Scorpio may forgive you, but a moon, mm -mm. So if you're trying to ask forgiveness from a Scorpio, have faith. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now have faith with what you're manifesting. It's about to come to reality. Okay. Everything is going to grow now to you, Scorpio, in your favor. It's about believing. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. Let's see. Let's channel some good energy for the Scorpios. I hope we get something good, Scorpios. Oh, follow me on TikTok also. Tarot underscore by Sal. There we go. Oh, child, two of <laughs> I just have to laugh. And I said we channel. First card is the strongest, but there's a lot of cards, right? So do we stop with this one and say like we are in love and we have someone special? I believe so. I would click off this video already and just accept like I have, I am in love and someone loves me. That's it. I don't need the rest of the prediction cell. Mm-hmm. Two of cups. King of cups. Definitely you're, you're the receiver of love over here, Scorpio. The moon. The hangman. <laughs> Why am I laughing? The moon and the hangman is someone who's so indecisive. I don't know how you can deal with this person. The moon and the hangman. Okay, here we go. 
You got four of pentacles, eight of swords, four of wands, temperance. Wow, someone doesn't want to give up on you. I'm not saying that you should, that they should. Okay. Knight of pentacles, knight of swords. Can be same genitalia, whatever you prefer. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's digest this, okay? Slow it down, slow your roll, sushi roll. You met this person, you know already that this is the one for you. They feel the same way. There is this connection, it's a bond. Souls does not see color, religion, genitalia, it's a bond. The soul has none, is not, is, the soul is an energy, okay? So you can, that's why it can be, it can be whoever you feel this soul connection is. But it's not magical. It is, it is just like a plain white bread, okay? Like a Texas toast, okay? Don't think that, you know, soulmates are these magical unicorn beings. No, it's not, okay? Everyone, you have a soul tie. You meet the same people. It's the same tribe. It just so happened, some romantic, some, I don't know, you know, like you develop feelings. Some are special, um, but not magical. They're special, not magical. So don't don't buy into that whole, oh, you're my soulmate and we're not going to give up on each other. Bullcrap. Two of cups over here. Okay. I just want to give you the ride, you know, to Disneyland before I, <laughs> you know, like I want to make you happy with the two of cups. Removing all those illusionary Hollywood thing. Two of cups and the king of cups. So don't doubt this connection, Scorpio. They really love you. You really love them. Guaranteed 100%. Love is between, between the two of you. Okay. Can be different in ethnic background also because there is, uh, you know, um, I feel like that's ethnicity, like maybe um, different, uh, what do you call this? Ethnic city, right? Yeah. Um, you have the moon and the hangman over here. Um, they don't know really what this connection is about. They try to understand this, um, but they go with the flow on this one. The moon has no enemy. Okay. Um, with the moon and the hangman over here, everything for them is uh, kind of like a, a decision time. Um, they're trying to figure out for others. They're trying to figure out who they are what they are what kind of relationship that they want Because they feel this bond. Uh, I swear I live in a good neighborhood here because the people who cross us are so good-looking <laughs> I'm just saying I got a good view <laughs> Especially when I used to live in um, uh, In uh, LA LA okay. so, <laughs> I like people watching okay. <laughs> And I have a window mm -hmm. the moon and the hangman over here mm -hmm. Um, it feels like um, um, this person can be possessive um, like because the hangman over here is like they delay things because they have to think about it um, they want you they desire you the moon is very needy so they do need this connection and they feel like they can't you know they're not going anywhere now you have a four of pentacles here and the eight of swords um, you feel like this is a keeper um, this is something special for you. You've never experienced this kind of love, affection, or connection. But it freaks the mother out of you, Eight of Swords. So, I mean, it's very typical for any kind of like soul dynamic connection where there is the uncertainty scares the bechisels out of you. Because you never know, you know, you may be dating a soulmate until you unwrap it and it becomes a karmic. I'm just saying. <laughs> so... Um, Four of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords, you may be scared to dive deeper, go to the relationship part itself, and you may get, you're scared for this. They're not. Temperance with the Four of Wands, this person has declared you as the one for them. They feel so happy, they feel so ecstatic. Temperance with the Four of Wands in the Moon card, this person does not stop thinking about how much magical connection the two of you have, how much inseparable energy you guys have. Like this person is not, they're not obsessed. Um, with the temperance and the four of ones, they just feel like a partnership or a relationship with you is just so, like it completes them. The day is good because you're there. The day is good because you love them. Something like that. You give them that assurance of the four of ones. Mm -hmm. Now, hear me out, Scorpio. You got the fool and the knight of ones. You know, every time you have someone, you tend to... Well, we'll see where it goes. I'm more of the fool card and the knight of wands. I take things casual. I don't need anything serious right now, which is good, right? If you're a bachelor, bachelorette, you don't want to commit right now to this person, it's fine. Um, you're having fun with the fool and the knight of wands. You like your freedom and you're not making a choice right now. It is not an X though. Knight of pentacles with the knight of swords, this person okay, has duality in them. Sometimes they want it fast. Sometimes they want it slow. Mm -hmm. Wink, wink. Okay. 
No, Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know, Sal. All right. Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. They're quick-witted. They say things. Sometimes they don't even think. They need to process that. Knight of Pentacles over here, they want this connection to slowly, gradually, organically, you know, um, manifest into a union where they would feel very, very secure. This person is very calculative. They're very protective of this connection. They cherish this a lot. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. Chariot. Ace of Cups. The Lord of Scorpio is in love. Mm -hmm. Yep. Someone. Okay, got a Scorpio. I don't know if they're lucky or not. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Cups, you're the wish fulfillment to this person. You provide stability to them. Um, Queen of Coins is like you are marriage material. Really, Scorpio? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> of course you're marriage material. Okay. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, hello. Paris Hilton already got married. She's a Scorpio Ascendant. Okay. And she is, uh, uh, how do you call this? Uh, I believe she's Jishta, right? Mm. So I'm talking about Sidereal. Come down, Western Tropic. Okay. <laughs> Before he, she is now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, Queen of Pentacles, that's why she's a boss lady. Jeshta. Okay. Um, Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Every day, I told you, this person is ecstatic. Ecstatic, darling. Ecstatic. They're developing every day, um, you know, the, the part that the security that they have with you. And for you, I feel like you're this warm, fuzzy chariot, Ace of Cups. I'm here to rescue you and love you every time. You're in love. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to stand in the middle of love. Okay, let me see. I don't even know if we should do a grand reveal over here to ruin such a wonderful reading. There is no secrets, lies, deceit in this connection. This is something good. <laughs> okay, let's explore. Okay, since I love the Scorpio, I'm going to get a different... You guys know I walk there. I'm going to get a different tarot. Okay, you guys can hear my voice anyway. And I'm wearing pants, so you guys don't need to pay. If it's shorts, you have to pay. Uh huh. So let's see what would be good for you guys. I'm gonna be using um, Mystic Fairy. I love Mystic Fairy. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna use the manga, the traditional manga. Oh, and who cares about the other zodiac? I have all the time now. I'm just having breakfast after this. No, I'm kidding. I, I, if you want to get your other zodiac, go to Tarot underscore by Sal in, uh, how to say this, in, uh, in TikTok. Okay. Okay. So I'm using the manga Tarot. Okay. Okay. Let me just shuffle this because this is new. Oh, Ace of Cups right away. Mm -hmm. Such a magical union. I'm happy for you. Very happy for you. It all starts happiness. I'm kidding. I'm not jinxing this Scorpio. But I'm still gonna do a grand reveal. Okay. I wanna know this happy relationship that you have with the four of ones, the stability of the relationship. Think of a number, okay, one to nine, and we will do the grand reveal. You're lucky, Scorpio. One, two, okay, I'm getting four. Okay, four cards for the four of ones. Okay, I just got the deck there and it was Ace of Cups right away, just letting you know. Nine of Cups, they're so happy around you every time. One, two, three, four. Four also for the Nine of Cups. Ace of Cups, I want to see these um, feelings that you have for them. Because you're going to tell this person, I feel like the two of you already have said I love you to each other. Because the Two of Cups is reciprocated. So you guys are comfortable with the L word. Mm -hmm. I am comfortable with that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups. Love. Two of Cups. Let's see the Two of Cups. I'm getting eight for the Two of Cups so that it's infinity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Love it. Where is the direction of this relationship going with the chariot? Okay. Remember the nodes are moving this March, so relationship will be lamented. I'm going to get five. Two, three, four, five. Once it exits K2 from your Zodiac and Rahu in your 7th, a relationship will manifest. They have to give you something. Temperance, 1, 2, 3, 4. How ecstatic this person is every time. You know that this person feels like you're such an angel to their life? Just letting you know, okay? 
And will you give this a chance, Scorpio, with the full card? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's be kindly generous today with the Scorpio. Okay, so I'm not done. So those are the questions. As you finally, this is a good read. I don't even see why you should be bothered at all. This is a wonderful, good read. Have faith, right? That is the thing here. And cause, uh, cause and effect. The, you Don't do anything that will destroy the relationship. Meaning... Don't be you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, like learn from your mistakes. That's what I can tell you. Now, for everyone who wants to know about the workshop, I'm not done yet. Um, everything here, of course, it looks like it's magic, but it's not. It's 1% magic, okay? like 2% candles and ceremonies. Other than that, it's about the hard work and really understanding your karma, um, really understanding your chart, and at the same time, putting in the work. Once you know your gifts, the you have, you know, in your chart, you will, you can activate those specific gifts, which can align you to your, um, you know, success. But we're all given this opportunity. The universe is abundant. Everyone has the same opportunity as the next person. It's just a matter of, um, how do you say this? Um, activating that opportunity, realizing also oh, this is what I can and I can't. If I try to audition for America's Next Top Idol model, idol model, <laughs> singer and model, I would not get it. Uh -huh. But if I tap into certain things, such as this one, which I am connected through past lives, then I'm able to show natural gifts. It becomes natural for me. But it is not a skill. It is just who I am. It's natural. This is all natural. So you have your own innate gifts that if you tap into it, mm. like my skin, it's all natural. <laughs> it's not. It's a lot of serum. Okay. But yes, so once you tap into it, you, you show up to the world as this wonderful, mm -hmm, quote unquote, being. Yeah, but I'm not that person, okay? <laughs> Meaning you can show and share your gifts to the world. And that's where the workshop comes in. So if you want to join, go there, okay? You would need your firstborn to be sacrificed at the first day. No kidding, it's not, okay? The only thing that you need is to be present, have a joyful energy, and have some tea. And we will talk about everything coins and how coins can work for you also, okay? So thank you very much, Scorpio, for watching. I love your read. It gave me hope for the Scorpio, and that's good, because <laughs> we have faith, Scorpio. I'll see you in extended. Bye.